The president and now former Fulton County Jail inmate Donald Trump could be back in Georgia sooner than later. That's right. Today, the state requested the trial against Mr. Trump and his 18 co-defendants begin October 23rd. That's less than two months from now. The request made nearly two days after defendant Kenneth Chesbro requested a speedy trial. The court agreed, setting this motion in course. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Ritter joins us live tonight. And Doug, Mr. Trump's new Atlanta-based attorney trying to separate or sever in legal terms the former president's case from the rest. Right, guys, they want their own trial for the former president, and certainly at a later date than October 23rd. I was texting a little bit uh, today with Trump's new attorney, Stephen Sadow, and he told me they don't really have an ideal date in mind, but for them, the later, the better. The difference 24 hours can make. One day after former President Donald Trump was booked at the Fulton County Jail, the swarm of media crews and tents reduced to just a smattering of cameras. Webs of wires and cords veining the sidewalks, giving way to grass and pavement. All 19 defendants have now turned themselves in to authorities ahead of a Friday deadline of noontime. Many did so in the early morning hours, evading cameras and questions. After the fanfare of a former commander-in-chief being arrested, now a legal battle will play out to determine when he should face a judge. With three other pending legal cases, scheduling will be a logistical nightmare. Friday, Trump's new attorney, Stephen Sadow, asked a judge to sever Trump's case from his other 18 co-defendants and instead try the former president on his own. Trump's former attorney and co-defendant, Kenneth Chesborough, asked for a trial start date of October 23rd, and he may well get it. Trump's attorneys indicating they are nowhere near ready for a timeline like that. They'd prefer a trial date, they say, after the 2024 election. And it's been reported just in the last few hours that another former Donald Trump attorney, Sidney Powell, has also filed for a speedy trial. It indicates that she, too, is ready to go to court on this. Live outside the Fulton County Jail tonight, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Doug. State